everyone, this is Tammy from Tammy Colors 2. And you have showed up to watch the very first edition of Satch Davis Sunday. Yay! Um, I posted a, a little introduction video about a week ago. And uh, then I put up a poll to vote on the picture. I said we'd be coloring out of the stained glass countryside scenes, color by number, which is the new, well, it's not the newest one anymore. <laughs> um, he has come out with a new book, which we will talk about at the end of this. Um, so uh, there is a flip through of this book posted on my channel. Um, and I just came up with this idea. I have been a fan of and have been collecting Satch and Satch Diva and Prachi Dewan Satch Diva books for a number of years now and um, I love coloring in them. I have done a lot of really cool stuff in some of the older ones and um, I just have been busy. My job kind of changed and so I've, we've been really busy the last couple of years. So I'm like I need to get back to this and I need to color in these more and I, I've been working on getting more time to sit down um, and do this and so why not get other people to color with me we you know there's a big Satch and Satch Diva Prachi Dewan Satch Diva fan base and so why not right <laughs> so every Sunday is my plan we're gonna have a video um, if there's a new book I'll probably be coloring out of the new book um, other times I will choose it randomly or maybe I'll want to color in something. Um, maybe if you all suggest things. I mean, it's pretty open, but any uh, Sachin or Prachi book that you have, we can color out of um, that I have. I do not have them all. I have a pretty good number. I, I showed all the ones I have in the video and I have collected... I think three more since that video. Um, well, this one, no, this one was in that video. So a couple more. <laughs> so anyway, uh, the picture that won the vote was this one. I posted three pictures and this this one won. Um, I will tell you what I do. Um, with the Sachin and Praji books, I, there are a number of color test sheets in the back. I do have a couple of sets of markers that I like to use. Um, so I'm pretty much always using the same ones. Um, I will tear one out of the back. I will do my markers. I, I haven't done my Arteza Everblends. I decided to do a set from those because I can buy these markers and they come in packs of like four or five. So that's cool. Um, my, my ideal goal is to get a set of refillable markers, um, or something like that that I can use so that I'll never I can use the same colors and I'll never run out um, and a lot of times what I do on the stained glass um, is I will take a gel pen like a glitter gel pen and go over some of it or all of it maybe I want certain things to sparkle um, as kind of like my shading. So we'll see how that goes. So let's get started. I hope I have, you know, I have my markers all pulled out. This one's using, I think, 19 of the 24 markers. This book has a standard color palette. Oh yeah, I was going to show you. I think, I think these colors match pretty good. I kind of switched this one out. I think that one's a little closer. Some of the, you know, you, there's always something in there. It seems like in a color by number book, <laughs> There's always a color that you have trouble with, but I thought these were pretty good, pretty good matches. The purples always seem to be a problem, um, but I like, I kind of like what I picked out there. Everything else is pretty good, so I think we're good with the colors. All right, now, without further ado, let's get to coloring this picture, and we can talk. Um, let's see, I probably, what, what should I do? Like just leave the whole picture in frame zoom in i don't know what's easier honestly i want to make sure that i have the picture in frame let's try it zoomed out we can change our minds later um so this idea was was mine <laughs> um a number of uh 
Well, like I said, I have been, I have, I have some of his old books. I think one of the older books that I want that I've never gotten is like Birds and Bird Houses or something like that. It's a, it's a coloring book or a color by number book with birds. I really want that one. And I haven't picked it up yet and I just need to. It's really pretty. Um, I really like that. He's, you know, ventured into a lot of really cool things and he just came out with Chibi Halloween and that one is adorable. So, oh, let's see. So where are we going to start? We are going to start with, let me just make sure it's zoomed in as much as I can so that y'all can see. And if I leave it there, I should be good. All right. So maybe we'll go this way. Well, usually I pick a color. All right. Um, so what I do, what I was going to tell you, what I do is I'll pull these out uh, and then I will put it in a um, sheet protector and then it stays with the book. And I do one for every book. Sometimes I'll pass them along from book to book, but um, it's just easier if I just have one in every book. And then whatever book I want, I pull out and um, uh, I just need to settle on a set of markers. I pretty much have enough blotter sheets that I leave one in the book all the time so I don't forget it. It's always there. You'll see it sticking out so that, and, I, and just when I put the book away, it just stays in there because that way I won't forget to put it in. I, it doesn't mean I don't forget sometimes, like they get pulled out. So, all right. Oh, let's do, well, I could do by number order. Or I could do by this way. Well, we do number order, BR41. All right, so we'll do a brown. Uh, which end do I want to use for this? Okay, and we'll see how this comes out. You know, I could even do, I just watched a video from uh, Color by Maya where she talks about where to put metallics in coloring books. And I'm like, considering she always does metallics on frames I'm like ooh, this is a frame that might be fun <laughs> so we'll see how long it takes me I'm I'm really working on uh, allowing myself to not be rushed I mean it may seem uh, foreign to all of you <laughs> but um, I have a trouble allowing myself to sit down and color um, I think because I have so many things to do, I have cleaning to do, and I have a full-time job, um, and it gets really busy sometimes, uh, which, you know, I'm glad at. I mean, it, it actually got busier during the pandemic because my company ended up helping other companies, uh, make it so that people could work from home. We just kind of adapted, and, um... So it's been really busy. I can't say that the the pandemic was a lull for me. Um, so, which may be good and may not, but it gets really stressful sometimes. And um, I provide a service for the salesmen in our company. Uh, one of many jobs I've had. My job isn't as technical anymore as it used to be although it comes in handy that I do know things. Um, and so I work with, with salesmen all day long and that can be a challenge. There are a lot of wonderful ones that, that I work with. Uh, so some of them are challenge, but everybody gets that way, I think, right? You know, they're, they're trying to make money. I feel for them. Um, you know, I always feel for the salesman. My ex-husband was, uh, when he first started a stockbroker, um, so he was working for a stockbroking company and he had to cold call people. And, um, I'll tell you, he would be so depressed sometimes when he came home because people are mean. Um... I mean, I get it. I'm frustrated. I feel really bad because I'm getting all these phone calls now. I don't know if you all do, but like every day, I mean, it's, it seems like it's kind of tapered off a little bit, but, um, almost every day it's, I was wondering if you would accept a cash offer on your house. It's like, no, I'm not selling my house. It's like every phone call I get, you know, it's like, uh, no. And some of them I joke with, 
um, you know, I'll say, well, if I sell you my house, you're going to find me a place to live because I have no place to live. <laughs> and they, you know, they they laugh with me and, and stuff like that. But um, it gets it gets a little um, kind of challenging. Some days I'm I'm less nice than others. I never hang up on them. Um, I try to be nice. I try to be funny. Um, but I just want to say, you know, if I want to sell my house, I'm going to go find a realtor and I'm going to sell my house. I am not going to one day wake up because you call me and say, oh, sure, I'll take money for my house. Um, no, I just can't imagine that that's going to happen. So... I don't understand this whole, and I know that they're really after people that have more than one property is really the idea, but it's just so, ugh. Anyway, so always be nice to the cold callers. Don't fall for the scams. Um, don't be mean to people because it's a job. Um, try not to, try not to be too cruel if you're one of those people that plays around with them. Because uh, they, I mean, they are human beings. And, um, it, it, you know, it's a tough job. I mean, everyone needs a job, right? To make money. So, anyway, that's my spiel on that. Uh, so, I've been trying to allow myself more time to color. I don't... I think part of it is that when I feel, when I'm sitting down, I feel like I'm not being productive. Um, I'm telling you, I need therapy. <laughs> I do a lot of things sitting down. Part of it is because I'm sitting down all day long in front of my computer, right? Um, oh, there's some twos here. Did I miss any ones? I forgot to check in here for twos. Uh, but there's some twos down here. So, yeah. So I feel like when I'm sitting down, I'm not being productive, which is not necessarily true. Um, I have a lot of different hobbies. This is one. This is the one. You know, I really enjoy it. I, I need to sit down and do cross stitch more also because I have a lot of nice patterns that I really want to do. Um, I have. I collected this whole cat series. If you ever want to see them, they're really cute. I forget what it's called. Um, Calico. Calico something. Uh, it was an artist. And it's like a, a black cat. And the whole thing is mostly black and white. And there's a few pops of color. I'm sure that a lot of you had to have seen them before. Calico Corner, I think. Um, and they did a lot of cross-stitch patterns. And my goal, I collected them over a number of years um, the patterns for this cat and they're really funny um, and I wanted to do them all and hang them up in a series or hang them up in different rooms of my house or something like that um, so that was Let's see how good my colors are like I said, I've, I've never used the Everblends. I really like the Everblend markers. I'm just a little, a little frustrated. You know, I went through the whole thing when I bought them. I didn't realize that the sets would give me duplicates, which is my fault. I should have known. So I have a bunch of duplicates from buying the sets of markers. And now it's almost like you can't get some of the sets anymore. So I never did get all the sets. Of course, some of them would have given me so many duplicates. I don't know what I was thinking. But now I have this really nice set of markers on a rack on my desk. And I can't decide if I'm going to keep buying them. Um, I really wish I could fill in some of the colors I'm missing with these. Um, and I can't decide. It's like... I, I know that the, I think they were revamping their sets. I know I had to ask them because there was a set that I needed and I can't remember which one it was. And they're like, oh, we're not selling that one anymore. But they've, I noticed they've re-released re their sets of markers or something. Maybe. I haven't looked for a while. Um, but I was 
I was buying them when they were on specials on Amazon, and I think I bought some on Arteza's website um, at times. So let's see. This is dirt. Yep. There are any more twos? Oh, there's a two here. So this must be dirt and a path. <laughs> So did anybody get the non-color by number version of this book? I'm just curious. Um, I am happy to have you all with me today. I'm glad that we can color some in these books. I guess I forgot some ones here. Ones, two, one, two. Da, 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 da. There's some two over here. I'm still um, getting my style together in the stained glass. Um, I do. I love stained glass, and I love it. I love it in the covers of the books when they when it looks all cool and it looks like stained glass, and then you figure out that you have to figure out how to do that because they're not going to tell you. <laughs> um, it's kind of like your own style. <laughs> I'm like, why can't they just do a color by number? Um, one of the Zen Master or whatever has some color by numbers where it'll have two numbers. There's no line, but there'll be like a two and a three in the same space, and that's the gradient. And I always thought that was really cool because um, it's actual shading. Now, do people have to tell me how to do shading? No. I mean, I'm sure we all have our ways that we do these books. I, I see some people, the people I want to know how they do it, they never do tutorials on how they do it. <laughs> um, but I'm trying to figure out, I really do like, I've always been a big fan of glitter gel pens, so I tend to use them. <laughs> I think maybe that's my thing. Um, I do go through and and um, outline sometimes with like a darker color. Um, I just feel like sometimes I'm making the color by number harder than it should be because it's supposed to be relaxing, and it is. But it's like, I realized I forgot this one up here. And sometimes... These markers aren't so juicy that they flow all over the place, which is good. You know what I mean? There's some markers that you can't use on on small small spaces, but I do like the fine tip on these, the finer bullet tip on them. All right, so let's do three. Well, I guess I'm I'm being boring by. What did I say? YR19. All right. Three is this path right here. Oh, let's see. And as always, it's color by number book, but you can put any color down here that you want to. I have done that. Um, I have a, I think it was a picture I finished. Um, in August, because I did, I have the Mosaic Sea Creatures book, which is the first mosaic art book that Sachin put out, as far as I know. And I have been trying to finish that one forever. The squares are a little bigger in that one. And I like it. And I, I the problem is, like, I was working on those, like, during the pandemic, some friends, me and my husband and a friend of ours, um, were in a game of Gloomhaven, and I suppose maybe some of you will know what Gloomhaven is, I don't know. Um, but anyway, we had it set up so that we could play, um, over a camera, and we made it through, like, it's a, it's a, um, legacy game, sort of. It's a dungeon crawl, I don't know. I guess it is a legacy game in that the choices you make change the game forever. Um, 
But anyway, we played through all of Gloomhaven during the pandemic. I mean, we were playing like two or three times a week because, I mean, that was all we had to do. There were no, there were no normal responsibilities where we had shows like conventions and stuff like that. So, <laughs> oh, where's number four? R23. There is a four in here. Let's see. What would be red? Oh, up here. Oops. I don't want the big side. This is red. I'm definitely going to put some glitter or maybe I'll go back and do metallic. Um, I tried that in the steampunk book and I didn't like it, but I don't know why. I mean, I need practice at doing metallics. I don't even know if I have a red metallic. But it may just be that I'm just going to try um, glitter gel pens this time. Okay. I was just questioning why this cloud is red. But... <laughs> See, I'm all over. Sometimes I feel like I should just put down some notes about things I want to talk about. <laughs> so I don't ramble all over the place because I'll just go from one subject to another to another. <clears throat> but I'm going to have to... It, it's good practice for me, though. I mean, it's, it's hard to do videos sometimes and talk and color at the same time if you've never done it. Um, I mean, I would talk to myself all the time when I colored, but it's different when you don't have to pay attention to what you're saying, you know, because <laughs> trust me, I may be rambling about a whole bunch of stuff, but I like to at least vaguely make sense. I feel like I should ask you, um, questions about your Satch and Satch Diva books. So, um... What has been, I mean, maybe Sachin can get some feedback with these videos. Um, he was excited when I told him that I came up with an idea to do this. And he's like, oh, wow. So um, what series, we'll, we'll do this, like what series of books of his are your favorite? Because I'm assuming if you're watching this, maybe maybe you're new, but, and you just come along and you're watching this video, but if you've been a fan and collected the books. I'm curious about what series of books is your favorite from him? Like, what do you think he's done the best with? And that's hard for me because I love the stained glass. Um, I'm very partial to mosaic art, the squares, which are the, the, the squares that you fill in. Because I like it because you're making the picture. Like, you don't know what the picture is. And you're just filling in the squares and making it, which is very cool. So let's see, is there a five? No, there's not a five. So there's a six in this one, which is Y604, YR604, or YR04. Why am I saying six? So number six is this. Do I need small? Nope. I can do big. Um, I don't know. I love them all. But then again, um, oops. Yes, that's right. I love the, like, the cutesy little um, characters that they've all come up with. I mean, it can be Prachi. Like, which which series, and we could say, which, which Prachi series do you like the best? Um, I know the ceramic tiles have been very popular. Um, I'm, I like them all on some level. I'm trying to think of what my, I think that, for me, personally, the paper cut art is my least favorite, and I don't know why. I mean, by all intents and purposes, I should like it, but, and I do, but I don't think I like it as much as um, some of the other series. I'm just partial to mosaic art, um, and the, the characters that he does are just adorable like the playful crocodile this new chibi halloween um because i'm it's no secret um i am not the biggest fan of chibis but that's you know i always leave my options open 
Um, and I like his. There, there are people's chibis that I like. We'll put it that way. I just find the ones that make them really chubby and have no eyes and stuff like that. I think that those are the ones that I like the least. Like, um, what is it? Louisa May. I don't really like hers. But that's, you know, everybody, it's, it's, I'm not saying you can't like it. I'm every, I love it that everyone likes uh, different stuff. That's what makes us unique. Just for some reason, they don't appeal to me. But these ones that Sachin did are really cute. I do have a few chibi books. Um, so I just am careful about the ones I buy. So, uh, <clears throat> but yeah, Sachin's are adorable. <laughs> I figure that that one's going to be really popular um, for Halloween because it is cute. <laughs> Good job. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I've, I mean, I love some of the older stuff that we don't talk about. Like Prachi did a, um, have you ever seen the Halloween one? Maybe I can put a picture of, of the cover here. I showed it in my video where I was talking about this, showing all my Prachi and Sachin books. Um, but she did a Halloween a couple years ago where it's the uh, hexagons or something like that. Um, and I really liked that. I mean, that's, it's more, she did that one and it was bees. She did a bee one like that. And I really love those. And they're, they're more geared towards kids, but who cares? <laughs> who cares? So, you know, um, I know that some people thought that I was going to do this as a live, and um, I, I feel bad for that. I don't think I could color and answer questions at the same time. I don't think I could read. Um, I think if I ever did a live, I wouldn't be able to color at the same time, but I don't know. I haven't graduated to that yet. <laughs> I'm doing more. I'm, um, I know that eventually I'll probably do one. It might be nice to to do one with somebody else sometimes so that I'm not just doing it alone because um, it's it's a bit intimidating to be honest not that I wouldn't like doing a live I probably would I mean I like talking to people live and getting responses but I don't know if I could handle um, all the stuff. I, I've never even tried it, so I don't even know what's all involved, if you have to do something special with your YouTube. Um, and I have friends that I can ask those questions about. Um, I personally really don't have time to sit down and watch lives. Um, I, I join people's when I can, um, but either I don't know that they're going on or because I suck at paying attention sometimes um or if it's on a weekend I mean I just I have so many things to do um that generally uh I'm out in the yard I'm trying to get things done that I don't have time to do during the week because I have work and a lot of times when I get done with work, I'll be honest, I don't feel like doing anything. Because it's just drained me. However, uh, you know, I've been trying hard this week to go out in the yard and clean stuff up because it is September. And, uh, you know, the tomatoes and stuff are start starting to go. And um, I really need to fill up the yard waste bins so that the trash people can pick them up because it's going to take me a couple of weeks to get everything in the yard. And I do have paper bags that I can put it in, but as long as it's not grass, I hate putting grass clippings in my shed. Uh, I hate the smell of rotting grass. Rotting grass and rotting tomatoes. Those are two of the most horrid smells on the planet, to be honest. All right, so there we go with that. Oh, I missed a four. Look at that. And the four is red. Oh, the sun is red.
you know kind of what I wish I could get? <laughs> um, sometimes I wish that I could see the color by number, um, what he's picked for colors for the color by number, and then make a decision. I mean, I can do it with the numbers. I don't know. What am I thinking? I don't know. I'm weird. What am I talking about? Let's, I'm just gonna move on. Um, seven, what color is seven? Seven is yellow. All right, so we're doing some yellow. You know, you're gonna get a little crazy with me. A little crazy. So are you all coloring the same picture with me? Um, are you all coloring from different books? Because I'm assuming not everyone has this book, but um, I like to give, if it's a new book, I like to give people time to get it if they want it. Sometimes I think about getting a color by number version and a non-color by number version. I am not gonna lie, I have I have thought about purchasing both versions of the books from time to time. And then I'm like, no, I mean, it's a nice, it's a nice thought. Maybe he should try um, doing a version where he puts the color by number and the non-color by number in like um, Alexander Franzese does. So she'll have both versions in the book. But I don't, I don't have any of those yet. So I don't know if I would... I, I'll be honest. A lot of us would like to have both, both versions, wouldn't we? Because then we can decide. But at the same time, it's like, if you get the color by number, you can just color it whatever num version you want. I don't know. I'm interested in people's opinions on that. Because am I the only one who thinks that way? I'm sure I'm not. But... Um, you know, is it, um, I'm trying not, because I have to put blue there, so let me get, you know me, I gotta be doppy. Gotta get a little bit over, don't I? Always something. I wish I could be more neat with my markers. If it's a darker color that's gonna blend, I don't worry about it, but I don't know. We know what yellow and blue makes, right? <laughs> so I'm afraid that'll look weird. All right, so let me finish with the, the yellow. So yeah, I don't know. I think about all those and I'm like, well, you know, I guess maybe I just need to get an Alexander Franzese book and see what I do with it. I mean, I have others. I just mean I haven't purchased any of the color by number ones uh, that she has yet. So I was thinking um, about a hashtag um, and I think, you know, maybe I'll have to check and see because I meant to do that. But you know what? I live on the edge. So um, I think we can do hashtag Satch Diva Sunday, right? And just post all of our pictures to Satch Diva Sunday. I was thinking at first about doing it like per week, like, but or per month, September, October. But I'm like, why complicate it? Just do Satch Diva Sunday. Hashtag Satch Diva Sunday, and then it'll just be like this huge gallery of pictures, and that'll be fun. And everybody can, if you if you want to post them, uh, you can even do your own video if you have a channel um, coloring this picture if you want to. And just put Satch Diva Sunday on it. Hmm. Did I drag my hand in that? I think I did. Of course, I should look at that as shading. See if I can get rid of it. Um, 
I'm going to have a really pretty blotter sheet after this. Uh, so what do we got? Eight. I need eight. Or I see I've got seven. I need eight, which is mustard, which is this one. This one here. See how long, I mean, uh, I'm going to see how long it takes me to color this one. on camera and then maybe in the future I'll speed them up um, you know that way but then again hey y'all like coloring real time right you're just listening to me prattle on about weird stuff while I color um, But this has been pretty quick. Um, these usually do. I think when I do one of the mosaic arts, art books, it's going to take longer. <laughs> but we'll see. I'll have to see if I can um, get my groove on and color those a little. If I have all the markers picked out, usually it, it doesn't take as long. So nine is light green, which is this one. Look, I've got all my, this <laughs> is what happens. They all get pushed out to the side and I'll have like markers like everywhere. So these are nines. I mean, who knows? I know that's gonna be a darker green, so I'm not really worried about that. I think for uh, next week, um, for Sunday the 24th of September, um, sorry, I want to turn this to the side. I'm thinking about um, doing the new Prachi Dewan Sachdeva um, autumn ceramic tiles, and then the week after that, doing the the chibi Halloween, uh, which is the other new Asajin book. Are there any more nines, 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 nines? Nope. 10 is, I knew I was gonna end up turning this book. 10 is G16. Um, it's always, a little bit different until the marker completely dries. I find that these are not all markers. Some markers are pretty much the same color, are, are pretty good, but these tend to dry. They go on a lot darker, I've noticed. And I have to let them dry. I mean, you have to let them all dry completely, but these seem to be a little more finicky. I used to have a set of markers. I think I've told y'all this before. Um, and it was old, old, old set, way before they reformulated them. And it was the old square top and round bottom Artex markers, the original 168 set. And um, I got those because they were cool. It was the first really big set of markers I had. And they, some of them would be a completely different color when I put them down. And I mean, a completely different color. <laughs> Maybe vaguely in the same family, but I mean, it was bad. And you would have to let them dry. It would freak you out a little bit. Yeah. So. Oh, I wonder how many videos I can do before I run out of stories. Holy Moses. if I can actually keep this straight. This is a very kind of fall looking picture, but then again, we haven't got all the other colors in it yet. So 
I'm sure it's taken shape. Oh, I missed a six. Where is six was? Y R O four. This one. There we go. Back to ten. If I don't do it, because if I don't do it right then, you know, it's like, I'll be like, where was that? <laughs> I don't know. I may have to do something about that orange. I probably shouldn't have done that. But we'll figure out a way to fix it, right? I could end up doing one of these with pencil um, if y'all want me to sometime. I mean, I don't mind. It might take longer. <laughs> uh, or no, it will take longer to do it in pencil. Um, those are 11s. These are 10s. I got some 10s down here. Don't ask me why I go all the way down here when there were some 10s up here. Oh, I see another six. I did really poorly at picking out my sixes, didn't I? Yep. And there's a seven, which is yellow. Seven, seven, seven. It was right here. Any other colors I missed? <laughs> no. Okay. I haven't gotten to those colors yet. Tens, 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 tens. Ten, 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 ten. There's ten here. Like I said, these are going to be a dark green, so I'm not really worried about that not blending. Sometimes I like with grass and stuff, I like having like a little bit of a streaky look to kind of make it look like, you know, there's a difference in the, in the grass there. Okay. We can just do all of this in one fell swoop. Okay, that is okay. Ten. Here's a ten. All right. I don't see any more tens. All right, so I'm gonna go with eleven, which is dark green, which should be this one. G22. I'm going to do this first because it's better if you're going to try to cover it over to do it while it's wet. I'm actually happy. I'm starting to use up some of my markers. I, uh, I was buying different marker sets to figure out what I liked and then I realized you know, eventually these are going to wear, you know, dry up or something and you're just going to have to, you're going to not get any use out of them. So I'm trying to use up some of the sets that I have. and decide whether I want to keep buying the single packages of these <laughs> Arteza markers. I really like them. I like their colors. I may end up getting the 320 set of Ohuhu's if I can decide that the colors you can get or the refills. I mean, I know they only have a limited amount of colors available. 
and it's probably the most popular one so i have to decide if that will be advantageous to me or if i want to go with something like blick i don't know it's so hard I just want some refillable markers. <laughs> and I'm a little determined not to buy Copics. <laughs> Although I will admit they do have a lot of colors. I think I don't have, I'm trying to think of how many different sets of alcohol markers I have. I have Cali Arts, I have Artifies, I have Arteza Everblends. I've got like three or four off-brand sets. I've got Par Parku, which I think you can still get those. I have Spree, which I wish you could still get those, even though you can't get... Um, singles or anything of those I I would buy those Cali Arts and Spree are worth it in my opinion but I think they don't make Spree anymore which is sad very sad they do make Cali Art and I have a lot of Cali Art I'm trying to use some of my Cali Arts Cali Art Bianio markers because they were the same um, and for all intents and purposes, they were the same marker. They use the same color system and everything. And I particularly like that color system. I tend to shy away from the ones, the colors. I don't know if I can explain it. I haven't figured it out. Um, or, and I don't know the names of the color systems. But you'll notice, like, Shuttle Art and those touch markers and stuff like that they have like a certain type of numbering kind of like the teo tree except the teo trees are are different on some level somehow because the shuttle arts yellow but the teo trees don't at least not that i found but the jury's still out um 11 i was gonna oh i missed a 10 uh -huh. missed a couple of 10s on this one Oh. Like this. Okay, to finish this and get out in the yard today. Oh, yard work. I like it, but you know. I would just like all of my all of my housework and stuff to be done so all I had to do was have fun all day <laughs> that's like my dream okay so that's all the tens and 11s and hopefully I can make this not look so splotchy ah, I really wish I hadn't done that but you know I'll figure it out I'll do something um let's see what color is next so 12 which is b17 so where does the 12 go in here somewhere light blue number 12 oh here it is wonder how people do color by numbers and figure out the colors and you know what I mean put the it's like how do you decide I mean obviously it's um there's there's a way that you do it and it's 
I know it, in some ways it's more work. I think I've heard people talk about how it's more work to do a color by number than normal coloring books. Um, 17 is purple, so the next color is, oh, let's see, that was 12. So 13, I need 13, which is sky blue is B04, which is this one, and that's these, which I'm kind of happy about because that means it'll cover over some of my doppiness. You know, I haven't looked to see if we're all in. In frame. I'm trying really hard not to move the book, which is not so bad, actually. <sighs> you know, there's like a, uh, a kid's Halloween. Like, I have so many of Prachi and Sachin's old kid's coloring books, like with the big spaces. And I've done some... I used to play around with them, like, um, I have the animal one where it's like just six, co six colors or whatever. And I have used more colors to make it, you know, to give it a little dy dynamic look, <laughs> at least as much as you can. And they're just so cute. I mean, it's so much fun. And I want to take one of them, because I've never done this, let's see, 15, so which is blue. Um, I want to uh, do it with acrylic paint sometime, like actual acrylic paint. I've used watercolor in them before. Um, that was fun. I have some Halloween pictures where I watercolored the ghosts to make them shiny. Um, you know, the kids' books are just so much fun to play around in and let yourself go. And I mean, I'm sure some people just do that all the time. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm more scared, I guess. I forgot some 12. I missed a 12 here. And a 12 here. I think that's all. 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. Okay. 16 is lavender. God, these markers laying out. Uh, which is P17. I know 16 is lavender. So we're gonna do the 16s. Do 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 16, 16, 16. Any 16s here? No, 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 no. Okay. Uh we got 17, which is purple, which is uh, P13, which is what this is. So 17 is this one. Seventeen. Any more seventeens? Nope. Eighteen. I don't have eighteen. I have nineteen, which is magenta. Which is RPO2, which is this one. 19, yeah. So it's this here. And a little bit like this is a juicy marker, and I gotta be careful with it. <laughs> and then we got 20, I think, is the next. 20 is pink. Pink. Okay, which is RP07. Yep. I always check the marker that I pick up because I will pick up the wrong one. I have done that. And I don't want to do that on here. <laughs> Color is 22. Wait. 21, sorry, 21, 22, same thing, right? 
peach. So I probably should do the peach first, maybe because it's a lighter color. And then and maybe because if I have to color cover it over easier to cover over the peach than the pink. Twenty-one, 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 okay. Oh, I've got twenty-one around the outside, but I've got twenty. Oh, there's a twenty here. slow down with the fence because I don't want to go over. <sighs> My husband went out to do some work sanding the deck because we've been working on it last year because my deck is just enormous. I mean, it goes halfway around the house. I don't know. I mean, because it was on the house when I bought it. And don't get me wrong, it's nice to have a big deck. But let me tell you something. There is one thing I don't like about decks, and that is the maintenance. And if I were to build my own, it would be made of Trex so that I never had to paint it or sand it. And that's expensive. And so that makes my husband cringe. So we're sanding it and painting it. <laughs> it's like nobody wants to fix them. Everyone, everyone that you talk to wants to tear them down and build you a new one. I'm like, uh, no, not spending that much money on my deck. Sorry, not gonna happen. <laughs> Just ridiculous. I am not a lover of decks. I love what they do. I love sitting on them. And it's fine if it's not my house. But caring for them, oh, what a giant pain. Giant pain. But, so we're salvaging it. It was not in great shape when we bought the house. It wasn't terrible, but um, one side of it was sinking, so we had to get that fixed. And I had, I finally found someone to help with that. And so now we're in the process of sanding in sections, because it's in like three big sections. And so we're trying to sand and paint a section at a time. And I'm not gonna lie, the, the reason we're painting it is because the wood is so, I wouldn't stain that wood. It's too deteriorated for that. Um, but anyway, that's my <laughs> spiel, my deck spiel. The people who owned this house before, I mean, well, this house was built in the 80s. I forget when. 1980, 1981. Um, I can't remember. Maybe 86. I think it was maybe around 86. And I can't tell whether the deck was original to the house. I think the person that owned this house uh, did contracting work or there was someone in their family or maybe they just had a lot of money because they did things. There were things I wish that they did. <laughs> <laughs> like not or not do like carpet the dining room I hate carpet in the dining room I'm just getting real today aren't I um <clears throat> when my mother asked me uh about carpeting her dining room she did not listen to me let's see 23 is CG04 which is dark gray so we've got stones down here uh, and, you know, it's like, fine. I mean, it is just my opinion. Uh, but I, I do not like carpet in the dining room. And so, I would rather have, like, a rug under the table or something. And wood. Um, but, anyway, why am I talking about this? I'm almost done with this picture. It's pretty. I love the colors. 
So let me go over this to see if I can even it out a little bit. I don't know. It's bugging me. this Tammy right down here Ta -da. so now that we have a finished picture that is very lovely I love all these colors look at that <laughs> so uh, I want to talk about next Sunday September 24th I'm gonna do a picture out of autumn season ceramic tiles color by number I did a random number generator and it generated number six which is this picture right here, the boots. So that's what we're gonna do for September 26th, or 24th, September 24th, Satch Diva Sunday. And I am also going to give away a copy of Chibi Halloween and Spooky Characters. Um, I came up with this, I've never done a giveaway before. I thought, eh, be nice. I have almost 2000 subscribers, it's amazing. I never thought I'd get that that many <laughs> and I've never done a giveaway so why not do one to celebrate the opening of Satch Diva Sunday so um it's totally my idea no one is sponsoring me um and as far as I know it's open to everyone um anyone who leaves a comment you have to be willing to give me your address um, and I will either send it through Amazon or I'll get a copy shipped to myself and just mail it to you, depending on how that goes. But I can't imagine a way on earth that I can't get it to you. <laughs> but so um, if you're interested in being entered into the giveaway for Chibi Halloween and Spooky Characters, and it'll be your choice whether you want color by number or non-color by number, um comment spooky in the comments and leave your comment by midnight eastern standard time on september 20 thursday september 21st because i gotta have a little bit of time so um and then i will do the giveaway on the september 24th 2023 version uh episode of Satch Diva Sunday. So that's very exciting. If you're interested, let me know. I've never done this. Yay. <laughs> anyway, so thank you for watching. I hope you have a great day. It's been a great start to Satch Diva Sunday, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye.